Today I want to show you how you can create a second UV channel for your model. So basically the Unreal Engine 4 uses the second UV channel as a light map channel. So then we will generate our light maps onto it to get a better lightning result and of course to get rid of this overlapping UVs error. Ok so let's start. Go into Blender. Then create your mesh. After that go to the display tab and click onto this little plus under the UV maps. As you can see here, now we have two UVs. Now with the second UV channel selected, go into the UV image editor, click onto this little plus here and add a new texture. So make it light map with a resolution of 1024 to 1024 and click onto OK. Now go into the edit mode, select the whole mesh, then select the new channel here, the light map test, then press space and type in smart UV project. Click onto it and click onto OK. Now you have to press Ctrl A and Ctrl P. And here at margin you can choose how far away the UV should be. So when you still get the overlapping UV error after you have imported it with a second UV channel, you have to play around with this setting. So for example you can put it to 0.1 and they are pretty far away. But you can also put it to 0.001. I will just leave it like that now. Oh yeah, let's say we'll put it to 0.4. Okay, now go into object mode again and just export your model. Now import it. Yeah, I will delete this first here. So delete. Okay, then just import it. This one here and okay. And then try it out. We'll just add it to the level and we'll scale it up. And now we, we can try it out. So press on to build. And now we can see we don't get any errors anymore. And the resolution on the mesh is, looks pretty bad now. That's because we have to change the light map resolution in the static mesh editor. So just do, do a double click onto the static mesh. Then search for light map resolution and put it to, for example, 128. Then rebuild the light again. And now we can see, you can see we get a better result than before. You can also put that to a higher number, for example 2014 or something like that. But I will just leave it at 128 because it looks pretty good. Now we'll add the texture and that's our final result. Yeah, so thank you for watching and until next time.